AOC jumps on every rake in sight. Google uncovers some inconvenient data about the wage gap. And British women panic about global warming. I'm Ben Shapiro. This is The Ben Shapiro Show. Tonight, a plane takes off, but never lands. Time now for the ridiculous, and tonight we have a do-it-yourself guide on how to transform your life in a very specific way. Like Tucker, Tucker Carlson tonight, premiering Monday only. Hello, my name is Chank Uger. Welcome to the most honest and transparent broadcast on YouTube. We're dealing with building a new set, we're dealing with demonetization, we're dealing with everything, a lot of hard work going around here, and we're thankful for anyone who watches on a consistent basis, so thanks a lot. We decided to ask who your most trusted news sources are, besides us of course. We got over almost 5,000 responses, which is more than most newspaper or TV show polls do. And the first question was, for the most trusted news source, who do you trust the most? Overwhelmingly, the people chose Ben Shapiro and The Daily Wire with over 70%, followed by Fox News all the way down at 21%. We reached out to Ben Shapiro of The Daily Wire for comment, and here's what he said. Things are bad in your life? Well, just blame somebody else. You know, the, you're not succeeding. Someone you know isn't succeeding. It must be due to some societal obstacle. So you're ignorant. Oh, you don't want to look it in the face. You're not acknowledging your white privilege. Interesting reply, Ben Shapiro. Fox News, however, did not get back to us. Some of the top comments, CNN is fake news. Very cool, very cool. I make my own news, that kind of sounds a little bit dangerous. And of course, who could forget the Bible as their most trusted news source? <laughs> Imagine that as a news show. Imagine Wolf Blitzer. Tonight, President Trump takes on the Bible. Who's telling the truth? Find out now in the Situation Room. Moving on now to your favorite alternative news source, whether jokingly or not jokingly, overwhelming number one, Pew's News, followed by Steven Crowder. Here's the thing though, when it comes to PewDiePie covering news stories about YouTube, about internet conspiracy stories, about, you know, like people trying to paint him as alt-right, he is sadly probably the most honest and fair person covering these news stories when compared to people like the Wall Street Journal and CNN who want to tarnish people and like him wants to tarnish their name. Gloria Bolger has never let us down. Gloria Bolger. I'm Gloria Bolger and this is poor news. I'm Gloria Bolger. Obviously everybody loves the Crowder Change My Mind videos. Actual long form discussion on somewhat controversial topics. How strange. More talk comments for you here. Daily Wire. No. That was the other poll. What a list of choices. I know, right? What a genius, what a genius poll to put out here. Who could have done it? Who could have done such genius work? I personally reached out to PewDiePie. I said, PewDiePie, I said, Felix, since we're on a first name basis, what do you think of me? What do you think of my channel? What do you think of this poll? I haven't looked at it yet. So here's what he said for the first time. That's, um, that's, uh, that, uh, that can't be he. <laughs> Lastly, who is your least trusted news personality? I'll give you a hint. The first name is the president's first name. The second name is a very citrusy and sometimes sour fruit. It was never even close. Almost two thirds of people agreed. And I tend to agree as well. Uh, but maybe that's just me. Maybe you like when Don Lemon, the... Uh, when he, uh, something Don Lemon's right about, um, hey, maybe Don Lemon is okay to sit next to in a movie theater. How dare you put Tucker on the list? Trevor, it's called fairness. It's called transparency. Transparency, fairness, Taco Bell. That's the three things this channel is mainly about. Lucifer, that's your least trusted news source. That's a pretty good source, I think. And what about that old Pat Robertson video where he said everything is demonic? She bought it because the colors matched her sofa. <laughs> is having this artwork in her house considered idolatry? Uh, yes, it is, and it, it, you don't know what kind of demonic powers attached to that. I don't want to get super <laughs> spiritual on this thing, but I would take that statue of Buddha, a picture of Buddha, and set it on fire. 
PewDiePie, he's definitely demonic. Anderson Cooper, most certainly demonic. NFL football, demonic. Thursday night football, mocking the Lord's Day on Sunday, most definitely demonic. demonic. Seinfeld, do I have to get into why that's demonic? Geraldo Rivera, yeah, demonic. demonic. Ben Shapiro has always been demonic. Even Crowder, Tim Pool is that demonic. French Canadian, is demonic. Poutine, speaking of French Canadians, Facebook and Twitter, demonic. definitely all kinds of demonic. That Mark Zuckerberg has been practicing demonic things since the inception. Ever seen that movie where he's in talking about marijuana? Incredibly demonic. Alex Jones and Infowars. Alex Jones has been practicing demonic Rachel rituals Maddow, for demonic. The View, demonic. Whoopi Goldberg, incredibly demonic. <laughs>